Hey, and welcome back. Thanks for joining me again for the second week of our knot tutorials. Now this week, I am going to be teaching you another useful knot, which is going to be called the Fisherman's Safety Knot. Now this is an option that you can do by itself, or you can do a double uh, to create a continuous loop. So let's check that out. Alright, so this is a useful knot. It can be used, as the name implies, to tie a hook onto a line. But it can also be used to make a continuous loop uh, to be used with the pressic knot, which is what we're going to be learning next week. Uh, but also it can be used, you make the knot and then you can use it to put around something and cinch it tight and it's going to bind pretty well. So this is a very easy one. I'm going to show you how to do the double one. The single one is obviously the same knot, it's just you don't tie two. Alright, so all we got to do first is take our two ends of the knot. I just have a small piece here. So we're going to take our two ends, and it doesn't matter which side you start with, but you grab it and put your finger right here. And then we're going to pull out about 10 inches or so. Once you practice this knot, it's going to be easier. Uh, as you go to figure out how much line you need. So we're just going to wrap it around our finger, go all the way under the rope, and go over our finger one more time. Sorry, I've got it out of focus. So we have this so far. We're going to come back over. Now we have our little tail, as you can see. We're going to pull our finger out, and we're going to stick it in the hole that our finger was in like this and then we're gonna dress it up make sure our knots good now the easiest way to tell if this knot is right or not is you can see that the lines are crossing right here if we flip it over the back side the lot the two lines are gonna be parallel to each other so that's an easy indicator that you got it right now we're gonna pull this loose end out some more and we're going to put our second one right here. So, again, get out our line, stick our finger, go over our finger, under the line, one more time. Then we pull our finger out. And then we stick our line through where our finger was and tighten it up. So now you can see after we get it all dressed up that the lines are right each other against each other and if we were to put any weight on this when we pull it they cinch against each other now the only way that these knots could or the only way this rope could come loose is if this knot went under this knot or this one went under that one and there's no way it's happening it's the same size so another cool feature about this is that it's adjustable so actually if you didn't have very much tension on this, you could actually make it smaller or larger. So, pull it back down. As you can see, it's a very strong knot. And it's actually very easy to get open. You just kind of work it where the X is, and it'll just come loose. And this knot is actually used as a safety knot for climbing. We're going to get into those knots later on. But I'm trying to start with the basics. So thank you guys for checking us out again. And tune in next week when we're going to do the pressing knot.